Hi everyone, it's Kirstine from the Mustard Tree Trust. Well, hello everybody. Did you know that Monday is St. Valentine's Day, the 14th of February? Every year we remember and talk about a St. Valentine. Well, I didn't know anything about St. Valentine apart from he's something to do with love hearts. So I decided to have a little look and a bit of research and I thought I'd share that with you today. On Valentine's Day, we usually send a card to someone we love. And sometimes we don't sign it. We might say, be my Valentine, which means, will you be with me and love me? But if we don't sign it, how do people know who it's from? Well, that's part of the secret. That's part of the fun. So, back to St. Valentine. There's not a lot known about him, actually. And actually, he might be confused. There might be two people who we think of as just one person. There's definitely a man called Valentine who was a priest in the third century. So that's something like 200 years, 200 to 300 years after Jesus was born. Now, the emperor at the time was a man called Claudius II. I guess there must have been a Claudius I, but I don't know who he was. And Claudius II was quite of a warrior king. And he decided that unmarried men made far better soldiers because they weren't worrying about their wife and their family and their children back at home. So he decided to outlaw marriage for all young men. Well, that didn't go down very well. And St. Valentine continued to do wedding ceremonies in secret. Oh, maybe that's where the secret things happen. Well, as you can imagine, Claudius II was rather annoyed at St. Valentine and he actually put him in prison because he wouldn't do as he was told. One of the people that we think of as St. Valentine was in prison with a man who was there to judge them and to decide what he should do with them. And the judge got talking to this man, Valentine, and he thought, he's an amazing man. And Valentine had been able to heal people. So the judge decided to see if Valentine could heal his adopted daughter. So he brought her to the prison and Valentine prayed over her and the daughter was healed. She could see again. Well, the judge was overwhelmed, but more than that, the judge realised that God, who Valentine worshipped and loved, was really amazing and very powerful. And he decided to follow God too. Now, we're not sure about the next bit, whether it's the same man or whether it's another man. But in some ways, it doesn't really matter. Because another time when he was prisoned by Claudius II, you see there's a bit of a theme here, Claudius II didn't like him, did he? He tried to help the prisoners escape. It didn't really work. But he helped all the people in the prisons. He helped those who were ill and those who were sad. And one of the things he did from the prison was write letters. And he wrote a letter to the little girl that he had healed. And he signed it from your Valentine. And that's sometimes what we sign Valentine's cards with today. Now, he was born, do you remember, I said the third century. And many, 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 many hundreds of years later, in the Middle Ages, there was a thought that he should be a saint. And so they decided to call him Saint Valentine. And at that time, everybody thought that the middle of February was when the birds 
would get together with their meat. And at that point, they would start building a nest and think about spring and eggs and all that jazz. And the bees were thought to find their mates too. And so sometimes when we're talking about love, we talk about the birds and the bees. So the middle of February was also the time when St. Valentine was killed. And so one of the priests at the time decided that Valentine's Day would be the 14th of February. Now, Chaucer, who was one of the writers around that time, wrote a poem mentioning Valentine. And he said, For it was sent on Valentine's Day, where every fowl comes to choose its mate. And a fowl means a bird, so that's obviously what they were thinking. So around that time, people were already thinking that St. Valentine's Day was to do with love and romance and finding a mate. Now, valens means strong and healthy. That's what the word valens mean. And so St. Valentine was named that, I guess, because his parents wanted him to be strong and healthy. Now, we might not know exactly about St. Valentine. We might not know all the stories about St. Valentine. But he seemed to be strong and he seemed to be healthy. And what's more, he helped other people to be strong and healthy too. Maybe we could do something this week. We could send a Valentine's card if we haven't already. Or maybe we could do something to help other people be strong and healthy. Now, some of those cards, remember, are sent in secret, just like St. Valentine's would marry people in secret. Maybe we could sign a card from your Valentine. But I think it would be really, really cool if you could help somebody and do it in secret. What do you think you could do? Well, I've been thinking about this. And for Valentine's Day, I'm going to do something for each of my family. Now, one of them doesn't like putting his clothes away after they've been washed. So the little job I'm going to do for him is to put his clothes away. Maybe you could put your own clothes away. Or maybe you could help your mum and dad with the washing, putting it in the machine or taking it out of the machine. Or maybe you could tidy up something or clear the table or do the washing up. Whatever it is, do it because you love that person. And tell them that you're doing it because St. Valentine wanted people to remain healthy and strong and so he helped people and that is what Valentine's is about. When you love somebody you want to help them too. Well I hope you've enjoyed that little talk about Valentine. Like I say we don't know all the truth about him because there wasn't very much written down when he was around but what we do know we like so happy Valentine's Day and I hope you have a good week. Bye for now.